So this week we had the DroidCon Hackathon that took place on Wednesday and Thursday. A number of teams came together to, to create and build together, to make something new, something new, something innovative. And in just a few minutes, we're going to have the prize giving um, to find out who's winning that hackathon. This year's hackathon was sponsored by Intel and Cisco. They're joining me now along with the hackathon participants. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. This is Dario Sabella speaking. Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you, Dario. Hi, nice to have you with us. Hello, thank you. My pleasure. I'm here with other friends here in the organizing committee. And we are like uh, here at the end of this uh, hackathon. It's a sort of marathon for us because it started <laughs> a lot of months ago. And yeah, maybe Francesco can present with myself uh, in a few minutes what is my uh, hackathon about. Uh, uh, and then we can, maybe you are curious to know who is the winner of this hackathon competition. Uh, Francesco, do you mind to start presenting a few minutes maybe to the audience? Hello? Okay, no problem uh, in case I can cover. Huh? Uh, so if you can see my screen, Lucy, just confirm me. Yeah, I can see your screen, Dario, I can see your okay. screen. And I'll hand over to Wonderful. you so that you can, you can do your presentation and do your prize giving, sure. okay? Sure, sure, no problem, no problem. I will manage by myself. So on behalf of the overall organizing committee, you see a lot of companies here involved uh, uh, in the organization. And this is also supported by GSMA, endorsed by Etsy and other, other event edge computing world and the, the partnership of the city of Turin. So, you can see this is actually the final phase of this hackathon and we started uh, as I said in April where the publication of Call of Developers and in June we had a, a nice uh, Mac webinar explaining uh, exactly what this uh, was, uh, uh, how this was uh, conceived as a competition and then we uh, um, admitted the submissions uh, uh, until mid of June, actually extended the end of June. We, pro we offered the, the remote access to servers, edge computing servers to developers uh, for free for their work until November. And then we arrived at the end of this with the uh, final days of the competition with 25 and 26 of November. Uh, is, uh, why we do those things and, and what we do and how uh, we do this because we want to promote Mac and edge computing technologies to software developers, to develop standards, make innovation. And we do these competitions uh, where app developers can use real technology and benefit from the support of experts in the industry. And then you offer a set of standard-based tools for developers, hardware, software platform, tool toolkits, APIs. I won't, don't want you to, to bother you so much, but this is not really a single event. It's a multi-year effort, and we are pleasured, pleasured, uh, very uh, pleasured to, to be here at the Droidcon event with this uh, 2020 Droidcon Hackathon edition. Uh, very quickly, let me uh, uh, tell you uh, the challenge, the technical challenge was very, very wide offering uh, uh, all the, uh, let's say, inspiration for application developers. We didn't want to limit your fantasy and your creativity, uh, automotive, factories of the future, drones, consumer and media entertainment applications, all everything was accepted in principle for edge computing application developers. And because all those vertical segments are actually suitable for edge computing, if you can see here in the slide, and we offered as well some last minute teams, remote participation. And uh, uh, at the end, uh, let me present also uh, the faces and the fo nice photo pictures of some representative jury members of this committee, but also the whole uh, committee organiz organizing committee members are uh, is very very populated by many many colleagues uh, uh, from all those companies, and uh, 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 this is really a great teamwork. Let me also uh, here mention uh, that. We uh, actually wanted to 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 offer a set of prizes, uh, a set of prizes for for the the winner uh, today in the award ceremony. Uh, uh, th there is uh, some prize from Synesthesia, so uh, uh, Francesco will kindly offer 
some free passes for the future Droid Con Con conference in 2021, and also uh, we'll give some uh, nice gifts uh, uh, to the winners. Uh, Intel will, will uh, offer the possibility to be part of the Intel Software Innovation Program and also some other special prizes offered to the com uh, from the committee by using some optional challenges like OpenVINO Toolkit, the PC++ framework, and so on. Last but not the least, let me mention also the city of Turin offered the possibility for the winner to participate to the Smart Road project, which is a consortium of partners uh, from car makers and network operators, university and city of Turin as well, with the aim of proposing their development solution as possible implementation for testing activities in the, in the urban environment of Turin. So a lot of prizes, and uh, I'm happy to say as well, uh, we have some uh, additional prize. Uh, we will offer an Amazon Echo device to the winner. So uh, very quickly, we had a couple of days with intense and a huge set of uh, tutorials, uh, masterclasses, uh, keynote speakers. Uh, you, we, we will see if you, in the future days, uh, we will soon uh, post uh, uh, some link uh, uh, with the proceedings, the material and the presentations, and also hopefully uh, uh, the, the, um, the link of the video streaming that is, uh, anybody can, can see more relaxed in the next days. Uh, let me uh, also emphasize that there, there was uh, the second day at the end, uh, a set of nice keynote speakers and a final panel discussion with relevant uh, person and experts in the field in the in, from the industry so uh, maybe you are now becoming some a little bit curious and uh, this was uh, 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 the final phase of the competition as i said the first day intermediate delivery from the teams and then a live presentation a sort of elevator pitch on stage only in closed doors for the committee in a private room and then final delivery yesterday and of course, uh, uh, yes, today we have uh, the winner celebration. Uh, so, so uh, uh, yeah, maybe we can. We don't have the the audio and any kind of sound that uh, can simulate this, but uh, you can imagine. Uh, uh, I want to wait a little bit just to emphasize your curiosity. Who is the winner? And the winner is Unimore team uh, that I have the pleasure to have here. With the, with myself here in, in the in the in the conference, and uh, I would like to uh, leave the floor uh, to uh, our friends from the Unimore team that can tell you more about their project. Please, please, guys. Uh, good evening, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Stefano. Me and Marco are uh, researchers from the University of Modern and Reggio Media in Italy, and we uh, came to this hackathon with uh, this project named Cognitive Mobility. Uh, basically, ha our idea is to take uh, the mobility issues that affect most major cities worldwide, uh, such as congestion, parking, finding, uh, charging stations, uh, roadworks that blocks traffic. Uh, taking this problem with the, uh, a solution derived uh, through edge mobility intelligence. So we exploited a Mac MEC uh, uh, infrastructure uh, and digital twins uh, to um, make citizens able to get real-time notifications of events related to their uh, mobility patterns and also uh, the idea is to let also uh, administrators and the local governance uh, to perform some uh, data analysis on mobility patterns and gain insights from, from the mobility of, of people. All of this is, is enabled by the MEC infrastructure and 5G networks. Uh, then I will uh, leave the word to my colleague, Marco, for the next slides. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Marco. Picone. Thank you, Stefan, for the introduction. As you can see here in these slides, uh, this is our architecture, how we implemented our project, uh, integrated with the openness platform. 
through edge computing patterns, uh, we created uh, a digitalized version of physical objects. In this case, we modeled roadside unit to receive real-time data about traffic, accident, parking area, or charging station for electric vehicles. So the digital twin is a softwareized version of a physical object with the responsibility to interact in a virtualized environment, in that case, uh, the openness platform. The other digital twin is the vehicle digital twin responsible to receive telemetry data from the location updates and the events coming from a vehicle and on the other end send relevant georeferenced information about alerts and notification for example for a traffic jam or a new parking space free uh, and, and that, that is an interest for the, for the, for the vehicle. Uh, at the same time we model it as uh, an openness application, uh, microservice and edge traffic information system system capable to receive information from the roadside unit and send relevant data to the vehicles. Uh, all these microservices are integrated with the openness platform. We developed a library, a Java library to support us and facilitate the development of this application. And they are integrated with MEC location API and all the APIs provided by openness to authenticate, to uh, discover the application and to um, use the internal notification system. And these are, are all the components together with uh, some emulators that we use to emulate roadside unit and vehicles to test our application. Cool. So I think now is the time, if possible, Lucy, I'm just wondering if you can play out the video clip that we sent to you or shared. Uh, if not, of course, no problem, we can skip it. But just let us know because we, we, we would like to to play a, so, uh, a short video clip showing the nice uh, achievements from the team. Please go ahead with your presentation. Okay, okay, we can go ahead. So let's finish, Marco and Stefano, yes. please. Yes, absolutely. So on the left side of this slide, you can see our journey through the in different steps that we uh, performed to reach our final goal and architecture. As I said before, we started um, with the development of an openness connector library in Java that we called Openness4j. And the idea is to easily map uh, through Java APIs, the, uh, AP, the RESTful APIs available on the Openness platform in order to easily create producers and consumers application and microservices on the Openness uh, framework. Then we used this library, our own library, to test it and integrate it with another library that we are currently developing, uh, that is a digital twin library that allowed us to create a digitalized version of uh, the physical object, in that case, roadside unit and vehicles. So uh, after the, the second step, we had digital twins, we had the library, and we can start compose all these data and components together uh, to interact with the uh, traffic information system and the cognitive mobility engine responsible to receive real-time data from uh, georeferenced uh, data sources. So the third step has been to create this uh, internal module, of course, on the openness platform, able to parse, analyze all the data coming from the actors that we have seen. Uh, the last step has been to test a potential user interface. So we created, we can say, a connected vehicle, emulating it through an Android application that can be also uh, executed on Android Auto platform. So the idea is that this vehicle will automatically send and our demo application automatically send GPS information to, the, to its digital twin. And at, uh, on the other end, it will receive notification to, that can be displayed to the user display to, uh, for example, notify a uh, traffic jam on the, on the way or a new parking area or a charging station. And then the last step, we are here to presenting you this, uh, this project. Uh, on the right side, we released our library as, open, as an open source project. You can find the GitHub repository. And of course, it is an alpha version that we developed for the hackathon. But our aim is to keep the development of the platform, of the platform, sorry, of the library. And we hope that it can be useful for other developers that want to join uh, the openness framework and create their own application. And thank you very much. That's it. Thanks. Thanks also from my side, guys. It was a really, really a pleasure uh, to be here. And thanks uh, for organizing Francesco, Lucy, and everybody. And absolutely. And also from, from our side, from Droidcon Italy, from Sinister Zia.
congratulations to all of you. Thank you for all of your work on, on the hackathon for that excellent project um, that you just gave us the highlights of, a little bit of a taster. Really well done. And, um, and again, congratulations from us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. All right. So that's the hackathon prize giving. We're just going to round up to